Good morning, good morning, everyone. It is 11.24. I have been up for a little while, while, and the beginning of today is working on a acting demo reel and a directing demo reel for someone. That's very exciting. Nola is chilling, and I'm putting in the work. I'm now working on the director's reel, but unfortunately, it looks like the wind is blowing more smoke today from the fires on the west coast up here. It looks like it's even more smoky than it was two days ago. Fortunately, yesterday there wasn't any, but I'll try to see if my camera can pick it up. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see it there and through the window a little bit. Yeah, it really doesn't show up that much on camera, but it is very smoky. So needless to say, I'm glad I'm not going outside today. I actually am outside today. Um, it's like nine o'clock at night. It's still super smoky out here. I can smell smoke. It smells really kind of strange, um, which I guess it is smoke. I just fortunately don't smell smoke a lot, but I'm going to get dinner. I'll explain later. So I'd like to say to you, I just got Subway. Um, the smoke, I think I've just said this, the smoke is still very prevalent. Um, I can feel it on my eyes a little bit and feel it like breathing it in too, just a little bit, fortunately not a whole ton, but like, it's crazy. I cannot, I cannot imagine what it's like in California where the fires are actually burning. I can't imagine. I am about to start getting ready for bed. I apologize for not vlogging for a good second half today. That was because I was honestly on the phone with my parents for like, Five to six hours today, I kid you not. And let me tell you why. Well, just to talk to them originally. But also because <laughs> I went to apply for the work permit, right? As I'm filling out the first piece of paper needed for it, it asks for my passport's issue date and expiry date. Long story short, my passport expired in late July we had, I, I had no reason to look at it after I traveled back here in June and I, you know, didn't get any email from the government. The people when I was flying back here, no one who looked at my, um, no one who looked at my passport told me anything about it and it's not really their job to except for the fact that some countries, Canada isn't one of them I don't think but the US might be, is that they prefer for your passport to be I believe like six months away from expiring and if it's any closer than that they like prefer it to be at the very least six months away obviously mine was one month away and yeah so that basically means I am actually stuck here until I can get my passport renewed fortunately there is an embassy there's a U.S. embassy here it's actually not that far away from me however their earliest appointment, I can't send it in via mail because for some reason me, like when I was issued it when I was 14, I'm not eligible to do it by mail. I don't really know. And their earliest appointment was November 5th. It is September 11th and their earliest appointment is, wasn't until November 5th. So the issue is, is I was planning on at the very least flying home for Thanksgiving this also means that I cannot apply for a work permit or any other extended stay because technically, unless if I want to lie on the document when my passport expires and then explain in like the, cause you can attach another like letter kind of explaining like why you're asking for the work permit. So I could explain in there like the date is actually wrong, but by the time you're reading this, it'll all have it renewed and you can contact me and I'll give you the, the new date. But like lying on a government thing is not the best. So I'm, I'm really stuck right now on like what to do. But the next step, really, the only thing I can do is wait until Monday and call the embassy that, that's here and say, here's the situation. Is there any way I can get in sooner or can I send it in by mail? Or do you have a wait list for like when pe if people cancel their appointments and there's a wait list to get a... Sooner appointment, I really don't know, because um, I also can tell them my study permit expires at the end of November, and if I don't have a passport to get back there, I can't move out of the country like they're telling me to, and I can't apply to anything to let me stay longer because I don't want to lie on a government document 
even if I explain in a different document on the same thing, like, I don't know, it's, I might reach out to some of my teachers and just kind of ask for their advice. I might reach out to Kat because she, she helps with everything, um, like over the weekend and see. Um, so unfortunately this means there was a job that had popped up that I was going to apply for. Yes, I know I already have the three internships, but I was going to apply for it, but now I've decided not to because I just think it would be a waste of time for me to wait until I potentially could do a work permit, which could be days from now, and they probably would have already filled the position by then. So, yeah, that's the situation. So, needless to say, that was very stressful. That is very stressful. And, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. So, sorry for the long clip, but I'm basically going to end the vlog here. But, yeah, so lo and behold, um, lesson of the day, if you have a passport any any passport what i suggest you do is find it check the expiration date and if you have a scheduling app or something like that put in six to seven months before that expiry date put it in your calendar so when it comes around you know ahead of time and you can go get it renewed before you run into the situation i did or you're flying and they're like oh it's actually too soon i don't know but Strongly recommend that because I do not want anyone else to be in the situation I'm in right now. Fortunately, it's okay at the moment because I was planning on staying here. It's just going home for Thanksgiving and then the whole thing with I can't apply for the work permit and I have to leave. It's just, it's a whole big mess. So that's the situation that we were not expecting to happen tonight, but it'll be okay. This weekend, I'm going to try to not forget about it, but try to, you know, get other things done, not stress about it too much and just call on Monday and see what they tell me. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here then. Sorry again for the super long clip, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, social media is in the description. Love you all.